Robin Chanel and I am Raven Janae and, and we are 4M. <laughs> Hi guys, thank you for tuning in today. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Welcome to 4L's page where our mission statement, I said page, it's a podcast. Things happen guys. Anyway, our mission statement in 4L is to cultivate conversations that are creating healthy relationships and boundaries in business love, family, and beyond. We're trying to draw in the millennial and beyond. And here is more of 4L. This is for life, life, life. I'm KP, the fiance. Uh, my name is Kimberly. I am a mixologist by hobby. I'm a hairstylist by career. I own Coco Camille Candle and Beauty Co. And I am one fourth of 4L. Hi, Kimberly. Hi, Alicia. AKA Kim. Hey, girl. So, we have a company? Yes, Coco Camille is my baby. Uh, I am making candles now, but I also have a new beauty and skin line launching soon to cover hair care and body. Okay, great. So, Coco and Camille, where did we come? Where did that name come from? Tell me about it. So Coco is special to me. Um, a lot of people know this, a lot of people may not. I have a five-year-old daughter in love. Uh, my stepdaughter, Elia, she calls me affectionately Coco. And so Coco came from that name and the Camille is my middle name. And big wedding coming up? Yes, yes, yes. So unfortunately due to COVID, we had to push our big Labor Day weekend back. So we are rebooked for May 15th, 2021. Okay. And so, uh, will this be open married? Yes, we will be open to whooping ass if anybody else comes inside of the marriage besides he and I. Okay. Yes. Well, that's already understood. Yes. So tell me this, what does For Life Conversations mean and what is, yeah, what's the meaning behind that? So for Life Conversations, for me, uh, basically it's just conversations that should be had, that should be had in life, for life to go on the way that it should be with healthy relationships, whether it be relationship, business, love, friendship, whatever. You just wanna be able to have healthy conversation um, for life. Gotcha. And I understand that you said, uh, or you mentioned earlier that you have a beautiful stepdaughter. Yes. And um, understanding that now you're recently engaged, uh, tell me why people should listen to you when it comes to relationship advice. Um, I think because I've gone through so much in my relationship, we'll get more into that as the podcast goes on, but uh, Jay and I have been um, together since we were in high school on and off and we both had to mature and grow and go through different things in life so that we could be together for life. All right well we're all about that for life unity and uh, we wish you the best on that marriage. We can't wait to the big day. Thank you Kim. My name is Erica Mims. I am a mother of four, a grandmother of one, 
I am the coke of the group, the mother of the group, the babysitter of the group. Kim, Raven, and Robin are the alcoholics of the group. I don't drink, and I'm one for a four L. Hi, Erica. Hey, Alicia. How are you? I'm fine, and you? I'm doing well. So, for Life Conversations, you are the Coke of the cocktails. Explain that to me. I am because I don't drink. Every time we go out, they always get cocktails, and I get the Coke. Okay, so you're like the... the Non-drink. The am, I am. The designated driver. I am. The one to go to. I have to be the driver because, you know, they are alcoholics. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, it's always so good to have the sober one in the group. Uh, mother of four. I am. Uh, tell me the ages. Uh, 25, 23, 18, and five. Okay, a five-year-old, that's the baby. So, are we still with the father? Hell motherfucking no. Oh, wow. No. <laughs> Okay, so with that being said, father is X the fuck out. Yes, yes, yes. Capital <laughs> Y, E S. <laughs> so, are we dating? I am. Okay. And then how's that relationship going? It's going good. Okay, well, congratulations. Thank you. Hi, I'm Robin Chanel. I am the mother of two. I'm the owner of A Parent's Choice Learning Academy. I'm the owner of Almost Rich Clothing. I'm the co-owner of Prevay Memphis, CMG Records, and Make Lemonade, and I am one-fourth of 4L. Hi, Robin. Hi, Alicia. How are you? I'm good, and you? So, for Life Conversations, tell me what your personality brings to the group. I hold everything around me down. Whatever they need from me, they know I got it. Okay, so you're the glue in many situations. That, that, that would be true. Okay, and so I heard that you have a daycare. I do. You own a clothing brand. I do. You're part owner to a restaurant, Privé restaurant. Yes. And you have a non-profit uh, lemonade. Yes, don't leave out CMG though. Oh, CMG. Yeah. Okay, and almost rich. Yes. Yeah. Just like that. So what do you have to say to the people that say that your success is built off of your brother's reputation? <laughs> no, people, you know, on the outside looking in, a lot of people don't really get who I am, what I am, and what I do. But people who know me and know you know, what I bring to the table. They know behind the scenes, I play a major role, you know, not only with my brothers or with the businesses, just with my family alone. Okay, good deal. And you are a mother of two? Yes. Chance and Reagan. Okay, and how old are Chance and Reagan? Reagan is eight and Chance is two. Okay, two, fresh baby? Yeah, still lives on baby weight, you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so are we still with the baby father? That's just my baby dad. Okay, so that means, you know, that goes back to, let me ask you about this. I remember a couple years ago, we was on Blue Chip. That was a couple years ago. That was a couple years, years it's ago. We. <laughs> All right, so are we single or are we for the streets? We know. Okay, we know. Shout out to we know. We know. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, thank you, Robin. Thank you. I'm Raven Janae. I am a licensed realtor in Tennessee. I am also an investor, a real estate redeveloper. My favorite strategy right now is fixing and flipping. I am also a leasing agent in everything real estate. I'm also one fourth of four L. Hi, Raven. Hi. Raven Janae. Yes. Are you a Mims? No Mims? <laughs> I am no longer a Mims. I'm a Mims in spirit. Okay. And you were dating? Brandon. Brandon. Yes. And that's over? It is. Okay. So are you single for the street? <laughs> I am in, in 
and entanglements. <laughs> <laughs> so Raven, what does your personality bring to the group? So I bring true hustle to the group as my girlfriends do too. Okay, good deal. Thanks Raven. Thank you. Okay. Who is 4L? 4L is four different women from four different backgrounds that's conversating about relatable topics. Thank you for watching us, guys. We would love for you guys to follow us on Instagram at 4L and Co. And click and subscribe on our YouTube channel at 4L and Co. Click like and share. Yes. Yeah. Click like share. Click like so share. So who is 4L? 4L is me and Robin are two sisters' kids. Mm -hmm. Kim is our cousin, our grandmother. Robin and I, grandmother, and Kim, grandmother, are sisters. sisters. Right. Okay. We're sisters, I'm sorry. And Raven, she used to date our cousin, B. Mims. Yes. And tell the people he, what happened, Ray. Well, we were together for about five to six years, and Brandon did not. Well, he wasn't ready to be in a monogamous relationship, and he cheated, but he moved on. And, and we, we did, did it. <laughs> Love you, B-Mims. Thank you so much for all that you do for us. Yes, <laughs> thank you. family and cousins, you know, and uh, this podcast also, this is a shout out to, to any Mims. woman that B-Mims may date. We're not getting rid of Raven, sis. <laughs> we love you. Bye. Don't be threatened. He's moved on as well. We just have. Oh my <laughs> that's god. That. That's that. Next topic. Right. <laughs> so what about this tattoo? Yes. What about it? Tattoo. Put him up. Put him up. Put him up. Put him up. Yeah. As you all can see, he is the only one with an unfinished tattoo. Uncolored. Yes. Unfortunately, one of our friends brought it to our attention. That not only was her tattoo not colored in. She does should, not have 4L. He should have mine. <laughs> and I want to say this. My no. best friend, Artavius, is a great tattoo great. artist. Great. Our Shout tattoo out is amazing. to Art. Yes. yes. You yes. said you yes. are the what? The worst. <laughs> the worst customer. The worst customer. Shout out to Art. Yes. Shout out to you, Art. I love your best friend. Yes, we love you. We Hi, need Art. more tattoos. <laughs> you remember me? So this is the thing. Erica has, how many days, Kim? 30. Days three oh, oh expiration. She has 30 days to get her tattoo That's from the amazing. air date of our. Oh, she at the group. It's all oh, gone. All right, we need you. Get on a flight, brother. Y'all need me. We need more tats also, <laughs> Art. Please. Yes, Art. I'm thinking they about. Do. I uh, do. I need more tats. I don't want to get You have to at least get the 4L, though. What is that? Look at that. What is it? It has nothing. What? It has a no red Just like yours. Is that the No, ma'am. No, ma'am, sis. You have nothing but an outline. It is shaky. Where's your 4L? It's a shaky outline. We don't see it. It does look cool. It's, that is trash. I have to say it. Okay. We would just like to say Erica's 4L tattoo is fake news. Fake news. Fake news. And going on to fake news, <laughs> we're going here into is real estate in the news. The real estate yes. news you can use. Real estate news you can use. So you guys always message me about your credit. 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 C R E D I T. <laughs> Not C R E D I C. Credit. Not credit. <laughs> <laughs> so your credit allows you to make purchases at a later date. You would like to have at least a 640 credit score in order to purchase a home because you'll pay less interest. Now, if your credit score is less than 640, you may want to wait and use your credit in order to build your credit score. That's it. Everybody right got that credit in order in here? Yes, I'm 640 and above. It's on the way. I am yes. not 640 yet uh, because, uh, uh. because I what? did not pay my student loans. <laughs> and let me just say this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes, I went to college and got a degree from U of M. I need my fucking money back. I went. I got my degree. Everything I studied and did, that shit means nothing. I gave him $60,000 just because my doing, mama made too much money. Because you are doing hair. What did you major in in college? I am What uh, did you major in? I have, I have a bachelor's degree in sociology.
LG Women's Studies and so African American Studies. So, you know, you're going to use that so here damn. for our podcast. Yeah, but I need my 60K back. And I need my 50. I don't want to pay them that. I don't need that. Well, I don't remember how much I paid. Mario paid for my college. But oh, and that's nice. Let's talk about this. And this is why. Black Lives Matter. Yes. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> Which is why we're wearing all black today. Yeah, Black Lives Matter. We decided to do um, black for our theme for our first podcast mm-hmm. because black lives do matter to us. Always, anyways. And we want to say this because there is a lot of controversy surrounding Black Lives Matter, the movement between Black Lives Matter, and people hear Black Lives Matter and feel that it's not inclusive of All Lives Matter. So this is what I want to say to the All Lives Matter people. All lives do matter, but right now, Black lives are in danger. And so Black Lives Matter just means for us that, yes, just just say for, for the example that we'll use, Robin is beautiful. Mm-hmm. But if I'm telling Raven that she's beautiful, that doesn't mean Robin it's isn't not, beautiful right. right now. That just means that Raven needs more attention right mm-hmm. now. It's, it's and being that's more important why at the time. Right. Black Lives Matters is a thing, is a movement. And as Black Lives Matters is concerned, we want we don't just want to talk about Black Lives Matter in the form of police brutality or things that have happened to us as a black people in the past. That's cons- that's in um, I want to I don't I don't know what word I'm looking for, but it is concerning black on black crime as well. In Definitely. Memphis, Tennessee alone, you know, just speaking for my city, uh, there have been so many killings where it's black men and women killing one another for reasons of nothing other than on my hood, on my nigga, on my. Mama, I look good. This dumb as fuck. <laughs> we, just, fuck. we have to hold yeah. each we other accountable. Yeah. So yeah. let's let's yeah. make Black Lives Matter not just a movement when another race or ethnicity or a corporation has done us wrong. Right. Let's make it matter with all one another time. inclusively as well. Every day, all day. Yeah. Every day, all day. Yeah. With that being said, get out and vote, guys. Yes. Stop that Black Lives Can Matter. We have to exercise our vote. So that our voice can be heard. Yes. Um, That's what matters most during yes. this time. Yeah. We cannot solve anything by posting. We have to vote. Have and to most vote. importantly, too, because for so long, like, black people could not vote. Women couldn't vote. Women could not vote first. Yeah. And right. then everyone had the opportunity. But, like, 1968 was, like, the first time that all African-American people could vote. So we should. Exercise yeah. your right. Yeah. Let's you do know, it. regardless of who you vote for, what you vote yeah, for. Yeah, just vote because you yeah. other you have right. didn't have right. the right. Yeah. So yeah. you can make the difference. That's right. One vote, one sound, just like the band, honey. Right. <laughs> Let's do it. Okay. So every week we like to basically during the podcast feature a product of a local uh entrepreneur. Mm-hmm. And this week's product feature of the week is me. Okay. Uh, our Yay. feature of the week is my Stay Lit Candle from Coco Camille. Yes. Uh, follow us on Instagram yes. at CocoCamille.co mm-hmm. on IG. Uh, we don't have a website yet. It's still in the works. Mm-hmm. I am building my baby from the ground up in a small studio hand poured candle. <laughs> they smell amazing. They do. They, do. they, do. they are they do. a wonderful yeah. accent. I'm so proud to, of you, Kim. Me too, Thank Kim. I love to, to, to burn your candles in my house. Are. I'm working really hard, y'all. This pandemic has been so crazy for Coco. Yeah. Mainly because I had so many ideas and things that I wanted to do and roll out, like for summer and for my birthday and all of these things. And shipping with everything is so crazy. It's yeah. hard for me to get glasses. It's hard for me to get wax. Yeah. Right. I mean, everything is just insane. But God. Right. Yes. I want to say that. We love you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> okay. For y'all who don't love God, it's okay. <laughs> Love yourself, sis. That's, That's right. You know, okay? Love yourself. Uh, but I love him. Thank you. <laughs> uh, but yes, Coco Camille is my baby. I'm working very hard to go above and beyond. But please follow us on Instagram. 
Go and visit my page, like a couple of pics, <laughs> maybe even order some candles. <laughs> DM your girl until the website comes up. Yes. yes. Okay, so we're doing a giveaway. Yeah. So our winner, we just randomly chose yes, um, from did. one of our followers is, <gasps> drum roll please, forever Lashana Shunny Bunny. You are our winner, girl. So you have won a almost rich mask, mm-hmm. Coco Camille candle, yes. a free consult with Raven Janae about real estate, Thank and ten percent off a pair of shoes from the shoe box. Yes. Congratulations, girl. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you for following us. Shout out. Thank you. And we discussed that we always, like, we all believe in affirmations. Yes. Like, we believe in manifesting things okay. and, you know, speaking things into existence. Mm-hmm. And we want to end the show every week with an affirmation. And this yes. week's affirmation is, I remember being afraid, but I jumped anyway. Yes. And I think that it's so befitting to us as a whole, as a yeah. group, as procrastinate. Um, cousins, because like yeah. most people, we procrastinate, Yeah, but we still did it, y'all. Yeah. Yes, we just. We've been doing a lot of stuff, too, since quarantine. Right, we have yeah. really been setting goals. Yeah, and, and killing them. And executing that shit. Yes, yes. yes. we've been killing that yes. shit. And guess what, y'all? So, look, for real, dog. <laughs> I was just laying in bed one day, and I said, I'm going to surprise them on our first podcast episode, and I... I Ordered all of us Aww, this be Simone manifest yeah. what you want, manifest yeah. the life you want book. So cute. And I thought it was going to be so, you know, like. Be Simone. Hey, girl. A really hey, cute girl. gift for us. But, you know, of course, I know we all heard about what's going on yeah. with her yeah. book. and crazy. What that be? Yeah. So how do y'all feel about that? Um, um, well, it's not her fault, right? I think. Right. You know, once you reach a certain level, you know, you have people to do things for right. you. Right. And you don't double check after them because you, you respect them and you think that they're going to get things done correctly. Yeah, like I, res- I expect so, Alicia to do yeah. shit. Yeah, so I if Alicia her. printed some <laughs> shit that you didn't tell her to print, like she plagiarized it, I mean. You know, you yeah. don't know. She did it. We're gonna support her though, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, we're gonna Simone. support her. We're sorry that this happened. Yes. And but guess what? We're still your facts, sis. Yes. We yes. Gotta do it. You we're gotta gonna read. manifest the life we want. Yes, yes. because I love like your vision, B Simone. With 4L personally, yes. we're just gonna speak things into existence. Yes. yes. We love the overall goal, girl. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We love you, B Simone. We're sorry that this happened, sis. <laughs> It's okay. It gets and later. we <laughs> appreciate you guys so much for tuning in. So you yes. guys do not know we how long you. we have wanted to do this, how hard we have worked to do this, <laughs> how many times we have gotten our makeup done. To record this. And our hair done. And we just want this to be relatable to you guys. We yeah. want to answer questions. Yeah. We yeah. just... Thank you guys for tuning in. I want you, you to follow me on Instagram at, at Robin Chanel, almostrich.co, the daycare, <laughs> a parent's choice on Facebook. Just, I love you, love you, love you. <laughs> I want you guys to follow me at Raven Janae on Instagram. And you can follow me at emails on Instagram and also follow my online shoe boutique that I have coming up at the shoe box. <laughs> you guys can follow me on my personal page at Coco is KP and on my business page at Coco Camille.co. That's Coco with a K. All right, guys, we would love for you to subscribe to our YouTube channel because this is where the podcast will be viewed at 4L and Co. We'll yes. see you next time. Okay. Bye. Bye. Hello, I am Erica Mims. I am the mother of the group. I, no, start over. I am, no. It's something big in. Let me see my phone. What did you bring to the Poor Life Conference? 
I don't want to answer that one. Sorry. Next. <laughs> The spelling bee. Repeat the last question. <laughs> Can you please go up there and let them know that we're filming something? No, it was like scratching, like. <laughs>